Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So this one is called Why Players Have to Be Cold. Okay? Why Players Have to Be Cold. So what am I talking about here, man? See, when we talk about being cold, right? It means, you know, you're, you're sort of emotionally detached in a way with the chicks you deal with you understand you have like you know hard set rules for chicks you fuck with you know um you're you know you're just very like you're very like stern when you're dealing with chicks you understand and the reason why you gotta be this way you understand to a certain extent is because what happens is, is that in order for you to effectively be like a guy that's really dealing with multiple women and, and, you know, managing those situations and, and making things happen, you know, in a way that's going to benefit you and also even benefit the women is that you got to be cold, man. You got to be cold. And so like, when I talk about, you know, you being emotionally detached, it's not saying that you know, you can't care about a chick. You can't, you know, uh, interact with her in a way where, you know, there's any type of emotions in the situation, right? In fact, you know, it's good that you are engaging in the situation like that, you know, while you're in those moments with the chick. But you always want to have a sense of detachment. So what I mean is while you're, you know, interacting with the girl, you know, you're completely engaged in whatever y'all doing. You know, you're having fun, you're doing what you do, right? But in the back of your mind, you are still emotionally detached. So what I mean is, is that when something, when shit hits the fan or something happens with the chick or, you know, you, you end up losing a chick, you know, you don't basically lose your mind. You feel what I'm saying? You don't start getting all, you know, crazy with the situation. So... You accept that she's here right now, but if she leaves or if she's gone or if you even have to charge her, you understand, for whatever reason, it's like you're good. You feel what I'm saying? But you have to have that sort of demeanor because if you don't, you're, you're not going to be able to, to do this. You're not going to be able to, um, you know, deal with multiple women, deal with all that energy because that shit's going to fucking destroy you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because this is the thing that, that most, you know, guys don't understand about being a player, being an alpha male, being a guy who gets a lot of women and actually, you know, involves themselves with a lot of women. When a woman, you know, sees you as, a, a, you know, a player, you know, a guy who, you know, is going out here doing his thing, or she knows that you're that guy, right? They don't really take you seriously. Okay. They don't take you seriously. What I mean is, is that since you're the type of guy who fucks with a bunch of chicks, right? They don't take you seriously in the sense that you're just like fun for them. You're just, a, 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 you know, a, a boy toy to them. You understand what I'm saying? Right now, they, they could have, you know, feelings and all that other stuff for you, but they still don't necessarily take you seriously. So a lot of times the women that you're dealing with, they are also on guard with their situation, meaning they're some, they sometimes are not fully in. You understand? Now, based off of, you know, how long you've been with the chick or how she's feeling about you, you know, her feelings may be a little bit stronger, you know, depending on the situation. But she's still at the back, in the back of her head, she doesn't take you seriously, meaning she... Um, you know, looks at you almost like how you would look at a chick that you would consider a slut. You understand? Like, you know, you got the, the neighborhood slut, the neighborhood hoe. You know, you you know, she's fun to fuck around with, but you don't take her seriously. You understand what I'm saying? So because of that, what happens is because she doesn't take you seriously like that, to to her, you're expendable. You understand? 
because she believes that, you know, you don't really, you, you're not really attached to her and you, and you actually aren't, you understand? Like, meaning like, you don't, ha you don't, you're not actually like in love with her. You don't really look at her as girlfriend, wife material in certain situations. You understand? So she's like, oh, he's just for right now, you know, whatever. You understand? So she doesn't take you seriously. And since she doesn't take you seriously, then she sees you as expendable. And then therefore that makes it easier for her to sort of keep it moving from you. And this is why I'm saying that when you are dealing with her, you have to be emotionally detached because if you are emotionally attached to this woman and she sort of keeps it moving, right? You're going to feel some type of way, right? And most likely she's going to keep it moving at some point because she doesn't take you seriously in the first place. You see what I'm saying? So if you're the type of guy who feels that you, um, you know, you like to have the chick around and you, you, you know, you, you really like her and, and you can't stand the thought of, of not being with her and all this other stuff, you know, being on some player shit's not going to work for you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And in fact, you know, just in general, you shouldn't have that feeling anyway, feeling like you need the chick or whatever, but understand that you know, there's a, a a part of them that doesn't take you seriously because they look at you as, you know, this, you know, fly by night guy. Yeah, you know, he's here today, gone tomorrow. So they don't, they don't really take you that seriously because they don't see you taking them seriously. And, you know, part of you being that cold motherfucker is the thing that makes them perceive you as that type of guy to not take seriously, right? Now, also what happens is this, is that... You know, women on the low, what they'll try to do is, is that they'll try to change you. You understand? And I, and I was talking about this actually on uh, our last uh, Bad Boy show, which all of you guys should be on Patreon right now. Go to patreon.com slash Mr. Locario. The last Bad Boy show, we titled it, Why You Should Never Compromise uh, With Women You're Dating. Right? And on that show... I was talking about, and you guys could click the link below to, to, you know, to get that show. But on that show, I was talking about how women on the low, they'll, they'll try to change you. And the reason why they'll try to do, well, the reason why they'll do this is because they're trying to change you into a, the type of guy that they feel more comfortable being around. You understand? Meaning they'll try to sort of influence you to not be this player, to not be this alpha male guy, because there's a level of comfort they're going to have knowing that they can sort of influence you to change or to control you so that they feel a little bit more relaxed, meaning they're like, oh, why you got to fuck around with all these girls? That's kind of crazy. You know, you know, uh, uh, that's little boy stuff. Like real men don't do that type of stuff. Real men don't, you know, go around sleeping with all these women. You know, that's crazy. Like, why do you have to do that? You see, they're, they're trying to, you know, like put those thoughts in your head because they, you know, they want you to sort of like give them all the attention. They don't want you, you know, going here and there with all these women. But the funny, uh, the ironic part about the whole thing is that is that them that you fucking with all these women and dealing with all these women is part of what intrigues her about you in the first place but you know she's gonna want to try to change you to make herself feel more comfortable but the the funny part is women actually don't want to be comfortable in relationships but that's a whole nother uh <laughs> video that i can do later you understand i don't want to go on a, on a super tangent with that but they will try to change you to try to, you know, make themselves a little bit more comfortable in the situation so that they feel a little bit more, you know, safer dealing with you. You understand what I'm saying? Now, the thing is, when I say, you know, you got to be cold, right? You have to have hard rules to either keep a chick around, demote her, or charge her to the game. Okay, you have to have hard rules to either keep a chick around, demote her, or charge her to the game. Because understand this, when you're, when you're dealing with multiple women, right, you are, like, just imagine dealing with one woman, right? Now, imagine dealing with that one woman's emotions, 
right? Ma imagine dealing with that one woman's jealousy, dealing with that one woman's mood swings. You understand? Now, multiply that by five or six women. So imagine you're dealing with five or six women's emotions, mood swings, all this other stuff, right? So what happens is you're going to have to have some hard rules, to, you know, in these situations when you're dealing with women, you know, to either say, okay, I'm going to keep this chick around, I'm going to demote her, or I'm going to just like, you know, charge it to the game, right? So, for example, you may say, you know, if, if I'm dealing with a chick, and let's say you would say something like, if I'm dealing with a chick, or I'm trying to meet up with a chick, and she flakes the first time I'm supposed to deal with her, right? You're like, I'm just going to charge you to the game, right? That's like your hard rule. Like when, I, when I'm supposed to meet a chick for the first time and she flakes, she's charged, right? See, that's that hard rule because you say, okay, I'm not going to waste time dealing with a woman when her first impression of herself or the interaction we're supposed to have is her being flaky i'm good you feel what i'm saying because you don't want to have to keep trying to deal with her then that's already a sign that she's on some bullshit and you just ain't got you ain't got enough time for that because you're, you're fucking with other girls you're doing your, your own thing doing other shit you got to do in your life or whatever so i already have that hard and hard rule to make this shit easier for me while i'm doing what i'm doing you understand you know you might you might have a situation where, let's say, for example, um, you know, uh, let's say like a chick that you've been dealing with for like a few months. Um, let's say she she was on point and then all of a sudden she flaked for, you know, some stupid reason or whatever. Right. Then it's like, OK, since I've been dealing with you for a minute, I'm not I'm not going to charge you, but I'm going to demote you. You understand what I'm saying? So now I'm going to, you know, uh, give you a little less attention. I'm going to, you know. Um, I'm not going to really be doing things as much as we were doing. I'm going to put you on a lower level. You understand? And so you have these, these, these rules there. And, and, and when you, when you do this, this is, this is what I'm talking about where, you know, you being cold, it's like, this is uncompromising. This is the law. You understand what I'm saying? This is how it is when you're, when you're fucking with these chicks, because what it is, is that you're managing the shit so that you don't get caught up in these situations. Do you understand? Because this is the thing. It's one thing for you to have love for a chick or even love a chick, but you don't want to be all in love with a woman. You don't want to be all caught up emotionally with a chick because then when she does the things that she does, that's going to fuck with you. You understand? So you have to make sure that you already have shit uh, in place to where, okay, if she does this, she's charged. If she does this, this happens. If she does this, I'll keep fucking with her. You understand? You have all those things, you know, uh, in place. In fact, in some situations, some of the women you're dealing with, you know, you could let them know. Like, let's say a chick, you know, fuck up and do whatever and be like, listen, I'm going to just let you know now. Uh, if that shit happened again, we're done. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, we're done. It's over. You understand? Like, let, let her know so that she knows that she got to shape up or she getting shipped out. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and so that's the type of shit you got to, that, that energy. And she's going to be like, damn, why you got to be like that? I got to be cold. You know what I'm saying? I have to be. I can't be sitting here, you know, doing all this extra shit with you. You understand? It ain't, ain't going to happen. And see, the thing is, is that overall, when it comes to this, you, you have to have the, this, this energy and this, you know, vibe that, you know, at any moment, you can leave. You understand? Meaning like, like you would leave her at any moment. You understand? You have to you have to be prepared to leave her at any moment. You understand? Now, it's not saying that you want to, because sometimes, look, let me let me tell you guys something. There's times where I had to stop fucking with a chick that I was really, really feeling. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I was really, really feeling this shit. And I had to stop fucking with her. Like, I didn't even want to stop fucking with her. I had to stop fucking with her. You understand? Either because the chick was 
just on some super bullshit type of shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you know, it was it was probably something I did to fuck it up where I, I had to leave her. You understand what I'm saying? Um, it, you know, it, it, it's for whatever reason, it's like I had to leave. But the thing is, you have to have in the back of your head that, you know, that's the, the, the thing you got to do. You got to you, 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 you can't be afraid to 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 leave the situation you can't be afraid to walk away you understand because as soon as you're afraid to walk away as soon as you're you know because it's one thing where you could you're in a situation and let's say you know um the situation happens like for example let's say that the chick she she flaked on you this is the chick that you've been fucking with she flaked on you for some stupid shit and then instead of necessarily walking away and charge her you'd be like all right i'm gonna just demote her at this time, you understand. So now you're still fucking with her. You you ain't really necessarily need to walk away at that point. But now she does it again, though. You understand? After you told her, listen, this ain't cool. If you you know on that bullshit, I'm I'm just keep it pushing. Then you gotta leave, right? And and you have to be prepared to do that because especially if you tell the chick and she knows. Meaning, let's say for example, you demote the chick and you say, listen, if you if you do. And it, you know, it could be anything. Let's say she she fucks up with some other type of situation, you know, whatever, right? And you tell her, listen, if you do that thing again that you did, I'm gone, right? <laughs> the thing is, if she does it again, you have to leave. You understand? Because even if even if you stayed, it's over. It's over because you told her you were gonna leave, and then you stayed. How that looked? How that looked to her? How to look? She can't even respect you anymore. So the, the relationship is over either way. You understand? So as soon as you tell her, look, I'm going to leave. If you do this shit, you got to leave. You understand? You have to leave. So you got to understand, if you want this player shit, you got to be cold, man. Now, before you go, make sure you click the link below to get your free copy of the audio program, Undeniable Game. This program is going to teach you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. In this audio program, you'll learn exactly what you need to do to become that confident man women are attracted to. You'll also learn what you must do to become better at approaching and talking to women. You'll learn why women don't return your calls and what to do to increase the chances of women returning your calls. You also learn the only time you should call or text the women. You'll learn how to start conversations with women. You'll learn the mindset you must have to be successful with women. You'll also learn the main thing you need to do to figure out if a woman is really interested in you and much more. So make sure you click the link below to get your copy today.